Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 6, Lesson 12, Practice Problems Review. Dealing with exponents today, so select all expressions in Question 1 that are equivalent to 64. Well, 2 to the 6th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's see, that's 4 times 4 times 4, which would be 16 times 4, which is in fact 64. So 2 to the 6th is 64, which means 2 to the 8th isn't because you're multiplying that by another 2 times 2, another 4. So that's not going to be it. What about 4 to the 3rd? Well, that would be 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, which looks familiar. It is 64. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which is 64. 16 to the 4th, my goodness, that's 16 times 16 times 16 times 16. And just the first 16 times 16 is 256 times 16 times 16. It's going to keep getting bigger, so that's not it. An F, 32 squared is 32 times 32. It's not 32 times 2. It's not 32 times 2. It's 32 times 32, which would be 1,024. And so that's not it either. So A, C, D. Question 2, select all the expressions that are equal to 3 to the 4th. Let's figure out what 3 to the 4th is, right? 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Well, that's 9 there, and another 9 here, which is 81. So, 3 to the 4th is not 3 plus 4, so it's not 7. But what is 4 to the 3rd? Well, 4 times 4 times 4. That looks really familiar, like in question 1 or something. 16 times 4, which is 64. And 64 is not 81. It's not 12. It is 81. It's not 64. And 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. And so it is F. So in this case, we have D and F. And you did have two distractors here that made you think about addition. But exponents aren't addition, are they? It's repeat and multiplication. So moving on to question 3. 4 to the 5th is equivalent to 1,024. Evaluate each expression. Well, 4 to the 6th would be 4 times bigger than that, right? Because it would be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And we already know that 4 to the 5th is 1,024. So what we're really looking at here is 1,024 times 4. And whether you have a calculator or not, I can just pull this out. 16, 9, 0, 4. You get 4,096 for part A. Now, the difference here in 4 is you have 4 to the 4th. Well, this isn't 4 times bigger. This is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the 5th has this extra times 4. So what we're really going to do here is take 1,024, that is 10 to the 5th, and divide by 4 because we have that one extra 4 there. And so if I take 1,024 and divide by 4, and just go through the process here, we get 256. And so this is 256. And now what about, what about, what about, what about, 4 to the 3rd times 4 squared? Well, 4 to the 3rd is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 squared is 4 times 4. Wait a minute. That is 4 to the 5th. There's 5 4s there. So this is equal to 4 to the 5th, which is simply 1,024. For our next question, 6 to the 3rd is 216. Using exponents, right? Three more uh, expressions whose value is 216. We could have 6 squared times 6, right? Because six, that really is just 6 times 6 times 6, which is 6 to the 3rd. You could also then have 6 to the 4th divided by 6 as well. 
because that will get you six to the third. And another one, I know it just, oh, it does say three. There we go. Another one could be two to the third times three to the third. You have the same exponents there. You can just do two times three is six to the third. And that works when you have the same value of the exponents. You can multiply the actual bases together. All right. Let's continue on. Find two different ways to rewrite 3xy plus 6yz using the distributive property. Well, both of these things have a y in them. And so I could divide out a y. I can just literally from this 3, from this 3xy plus 6yz, I could divide a y out of both of these. And so if I divide a y out, I'm left with 3x plus 6z. Now, what else could I do? Well, if we have 3xy plus 6yz, I'm thinking I can divide a 3 out of here too. So if I divide a 3 out of both of these, what we're left with here is xy plus 2yz. That's just two of many. Now to solve these equations, I'm going to use opposite operations here. So if I add 2 and a hundredth to both sides here, we'll get a is equal to 7 and 50 one hundredths. This is b plus 2 and one hundredth. So if I subtract 2 and one hundredth from both sides here, and of course you'd have to bring the zero and do a bunch of um, borrowing and um, things like that, but you get 3 and 49 hundredths. Here you have multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So if we divide by 10 on both sides, C is equal to 1 and th uh, 371 thousandths. And then dividing by 100 here, you would get D to be equal to 1,371 ten thousandths. Now question 7. Which expressions represent the total area of the large rectangle? Select all that apply. Well, in your question on the next page, it broke it up here on mine, but you have 6 times m plus n. Is that true? Yes, you have 6 times m plus the n. 6 times the m plus the n. Okay, that works. So a is good. b is just 6n plus m. Well, if you look at the area of this rectangle, smaller rectangle, it's 6m. This one would be 6n. Is it 6n plus m? No, not b. What about c? Well, you have 6n plus 6m, and that's exactly what we just wrote down. In d, we have 6mn. You just can't multiply m and n. You're adding those, so that's not it. And lastly, then, we have e, which was n plus m times 6. And that really is just the same thing as a, just rewritten in a different order, so that works as well. So we're looking at a, c, and e. And once again, it was a, c, and e. Is each statement true or false? Explain your reasoning. 45 hundredths times 72 is equivalent to 45 70 seconds times 100. Well, if you just multiply the left side, you would have 45 times 72. And that's 3,240 over 100. On the right side, you're left with 4,500 divided by 72. And when you simplify these on the right side, we're left with 32 and 40 hundredths. On the right side, we're left with, after we divide these out, 62 and 5 tenths. So 32 hundredths, or 32 and 40 hundredths, and 62 and 5 tenths are not equivalent. So A is simply false. 
16% of 250 is equivalent to 250% of 16. That's interesting. Let's see. If we take the decimal, 16 hundredths, and multiply it by 250, we get 40. Or if we take 2 in uh, 50 hundredths, which is equivalent to the 250%, and multiply it by 16, we also get 40. So this one is true. And that is it for this practice problems review. Good luck.